Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of the What's Up Them podcast. Fellas, well, let, let's start and introduce, then I'll get to it. I'm rushing a little ahead, but you got my older brother, Spencer. Got my two younger brothers, Keaton and Tucker. How you guys doing today? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, there, there yeah, Tug, you doing, yeah. No, good job. Fellas, we're grinding. We're pushing. If you didn't see, we added one subscriber. I mean, if we add one subscriber each week, 52, we're close to 100 if we add that. So, I mean, one subscriber each each week is pretty good for us. So, But, no, it's good to see the brothers. I'm excited. Excited for today's podcast. Spencer, let's hear the rundown for today. Can you give a little sneak peek into the episode? Oh goodness, you're really putting me on putting me on the spot here because I'm not ready, but that's fine. Well, you uh, said press record, so today we have thoughts on bringing back the old Fortnite map. The Steelers yeah. game. Yes. NBA headlines and new news of the NBA. Wow, we're stealing sayings, but that's good. And then we're getting to a draft. Today's draft, you're going to have to wait to find out what it is. Thank you. So I guess we're not doing is it a sport because you did not. Well, it wasn't in the rundown, so I guess. It was. Check the messages. was in the rundown. Check the message. It was in the rundown. So, Well, Keaton, you know the deal. How was your past week? That's nice little hair. I'm glad the hoodie's up. <clears throat> but how was your past week? High or low? Okay. Um, guess a high again would be going home, seeing family. I was told so you weren't one I, day. I was told you weren't there. I was there Friday. Oh, okay. And then you went to the soccer game Saturday? For about four hours I was there Friday. Okay. Then you went to the soccer game? Yes. Unfortunately, our our team fell short. Second place. Yeah. Second place in, in district. So. so you're going to get – well, let's go least interesting person. Let's get it out of the way. Tucker. Not my week. least – why? Why is that? Let's hear your high or low. Uh, my low I'll take is that the Steelers lost. And that's why you're the least interesting person. Because you don't do anything. Yeah. You go to work, 9 to 5. You play video games afterward. You have Tuesday basketball. You're in charge of two days basketball, but that's about it. Yeah. Any rebuttals of what? That's my argument of why I you're mean the... you're right I don't do much so it's I don't know I got nothing <laughs> Spencer pick this up we need some energy defense. strong defense we need uh, your energy Spencer woo uh yeah no had a really good a good week an eventful week um High of the week was getting to go see Need to Breathe in concert here in Phoenix. Uh, if you haven't checked them out, Need to Breathe. That's all I have to say. They're my favorite band, um, partly because of the nostalgia uh, of watching them. Um, but if you haven't checked them out, they just dropped a new album. Go check it out today. That's my plug. What's the new album called? Caves. I haven't listened to that one yet. Yeah, it is good. It's a good one. It okay. always takes me, takes me a little bit of listening to them to to like the new album because they always change their style a little bit. Yes. Uh, now, uh, but once you get into it, you are going to like it. So. Yeah. That brings up my question. We got a, I think it was the text message. I think it was a story, Instagram story or something. Of you filming a guy trying to film a QR code, can you run through that for us? Right. Yeah, so there were some, some good people watching at this concert. 
uh, sitting in front of us at the concert, there was uh, an older couple, uh, and the the QR code. There's some QR code like download, blah blah blah. I don't even know what it was for. That would pop up on the screen, and this older gentleman kept trying to scan the QR code, but he was in video mode, so mm. he kept videoing, and it probably happened four or five times. When the QR code screen popped up, he videoed it, would get a 20 second video or so, got nowhere with it, and then deleted that, that video. Uh, yeah, so that was quite good. Um, he also, this this guy uh, and his wife, both filmed the whole opening two songs of the concert. Um, nice. I hate that. I hate people do that. But they both filmed it, uh, essentially the same angle, just you know, in case um, they need that same angle to both be able to watch. So that is true. Yeah, it never sounds as good at anyways. No, no, it oh, never it does. Terrible. And you don't even watch it again. So yeah, <laughs> you don't. You don't. I snap a good well, one or two photos. Yeah band at some point just to, to show myself later that i did do that, that event remind myself about it and then i am done so yeah, yeah. did we help the guy out did you oh, hey no. sir no. This no. Is... The guy and posted it on yeah the on Snapchat. okay yeah. <laughs> so i didn't do didn't do the good thing and help the guy out you just filmed him doing his gentleman I was going to joke, if we had two angles of your wedding, then we would actually have the wedding filmed, but I, you know, I don't know. I don't we know only had know. one angle, so, and he deleted the video. He deleted the video, so. <laughs> well, I guess my higher low, thanks for asking everybody. Yesterday was, we didn't was, ask you. was our trunk or treat. I'm going to tell you anyway, so. Maybe I'll throw in two. Who knows what I'll do. So yesterday was our trunk or treat at the church. It went it went quite well. We had a good attendance. About 80 kids showed up with their parents. So we had different trunks. We had different games, food in the gym. So my, I was telling Tucker, they asked me to do a trunk. And I was like, sure, I'll do a trunk. I'm the least creative person in the world. But I'll do a trunk. And Minecraft is prevalent in kids' life, so I just Google searched Minecraft trunk or treat, and it came up, it came up with a trunk. So, and you could just order it. What do I do? I was like, man, I'm gonna get creative. I'm gonna have this stuff in here. Da 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 da. da. I wait till Tuesday to order everything for the trunk. Well, Amazon had some things, and then I got it from our old good friends at Target. And the things at Target did not get here yesterday, so I had to int I had to just put together what I had, and it turned out all right. It turned out all right. So, <laughs> but I was trying. I just fell back. I was like, I'm gonna get creative. I'm gonna get organized, and I just fell back to the old ways, and that's how it is. So, oh well, oh well. So. But before I forgot this rundown, this happened late last night, but I think it needs to bring up Matthew Perry. We love you. We appreciate you. Thank you for all that you did for us with friends, but RIP, sorry about your loss. Um, just, it's unfortunate. I, we don't know. Just found in his jacuzzi drowned. I was told, so we don't know exactly what happened. Um, I know he's dealt with a lot of things, so it's just sad to see somebody go like that. Such a he's young age too, so um, just R.I.P. Matthew Perry. Anything else, Spencer? I don't. Your wife's a friend's. Was she? Friends fan. That's, a... that's uh, the depth of my connection. So was she affected at all? Did she? Uh, besides. Just hearing the news and being being kind of sad about it. No, nothing, nothing additional to add there. 
Well, good. Moving into our highlights. If you have not seen, well, we're fans of video games, and Fortnite is one of those. So if this isn't you, skip ahead five minutes and then come back to our episode, or we'll see you next week. But Fortnite is bringing back the old map. We have been promised this for season after season, new update after new update, and this is finally coming to fruition. Epic has put it out, so this is for sure coming back. Just wanted to get your thoughts. Tucker, you've been playing Fortnite for a while, so I just want to get your thoughts about this new map coming back. I'm excited for it. I still enjoy playing Fortnite, so this will be this will bring back some of that nostalgic uh, energies, and I think it'll make it more fun to play. Spencer, you have any thoughts about Fortnite? Wow, I'm finally, I'm finally gonna stop boycotting. I'll get back on the train. Uh, That's what you've been boycotting. Lying to you, if I told you, I've played the new map, so. Well, there's I've, been multiple new maps. Sure, yeah, I know, and I haven't. I'm refused did, to play. Them. Did you know about the no building? Uh, yes, because you told me about it, but okay. I never played when there was no building. I think you enjoy. Not, I think you would no enjoy building. no building. Yeah, we're right. There was no building when I played before. Yeah, but that means you're at, the people you're trying to kill can't build either, so you can actually kill them. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's questionable. You have yeah, a better a you have a better chance. That's still questionable. That's also, yeah. I mean they're they're not standing still. They're moving around, so he's still gotta rewind a little bit. Someone asked Tucker who won him his very first game of Fortnite. Someone asked him. Someone Tucker, who him. won your first ever? I think I won my own first game. No, no, no. No, you didn't. You talk about you or Kyle? I won your very first game. No, I won yeah. before that. No, you didn't. That was a duo well, game. That might have been my first duos. Rocket launcher. I hit the bottom of someone's build ramp. He fell from the sky. <sighs> and I won it. That is true, but I think that was a couple months <laughs> after the game's been out. Well, it might have been, but it. I distinctly remember it was your your first win and my first win. It's no no debate. I think Spencer's right. Keaton, I don't think you haven't. Did you ever play the old map? Yes. <laughs> well, it's been out for a couple of years. Yes. Your thoughts? I think Keaton of them... played the most for it was yeah. season two, wasn't it? Yeah. Your thoughts? I played. I didn't really play the map they're releasing now, but um, I think it's pretty cool. I guess I don't know. It's whatever. Well, no one asked about my thoughts, but I'm gonna give them to you anyways. Go ahead. So, nope. this is my analogy. So it's Fortnite is trying. So I live away from all my friends that I grew up with. And when I come back for different holidays and things, it's good to get back with your boys. And it's good to go out, have some fun. But then Monday hits and you go back to your work and you go back to reality. And I think that's what Fortnite is doing. So like the first couple days of this new map is going to be all right. There's going to be sweats, all this stuff. And then it's going to be Monday hits. And then it's just going to be boring again. And that's just the American people. You just get bored and you get tired of it. And I just think it's it hits no beginning of November, and I think it's going to be dead by December. I think Thanksgiving, maybe people will play it a lot, but I just... I think it's gonna be dead by December. I, I mean, it's gonna. All right. Are you thinking this is gonna bring back like OG Fortnite? Look how it used to be. All the players. No. I don't think that's their goal either. I th- I think What's their what goal? they're doing, what it's... they're doing is they're gonna release like season five and then season six and then season seven and then eight, nine and then ten. So they're doing like all the old maps. 
in one season. Yeah, I think this is just part of their story they're trying to yeah. do. That guy is retiring from Epic, isn't he? Yeah, so... I just think this is... It's only for like a month, so I think it's just yeah. a way for them to come up with something new. Uh, it's... Okay. But I... it, it will also bring back old players, because people will just come back and play the old man. Yeah. And that'll be fine and dandy for a couple of days. And they'll be like, oh, Fortnite, let's play the old map. And then it's just going to die down again. Just going to be like, oh, there's too many sweats. Well, there's... Yeah, because you know a game's coming out. Call of Duty, but who cares about that? Could be yeah. less. We Two all K's... care about it. 2K is my game right now. Put oh, me on the sticks please. against 2K. You... I am one of the best centers in the game. Whoever right. wants to come up against a seven foot center, diamond paint beast in 2K, message me and I'll go one on one and I'll whoop you. He can't dunk Gosh. on anybody though. Bet. I 1v1. He gets dunked on. One, you want to 1v1 me and we're I'm making, it on the pod? I'm making it a center. I'm going to beat you. Okay. We'll put it on the pod. Let's see how 22 nothing I do. Do you? Oh, please. But Fortnite thinks I mean I've had I had really good memories with Fortnite, but it's just I've gotten older. There's other better games than Fortnite now, and it's just it's just died down. So I think this is just them trying to resurrect something that's dead. And it's not gonna happen. So oh. probably right. Moving along to the next dead thing in our life, the Pittsburgh Steelers. Unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, a loss at home in the rainy, wet 20 to 10 Jacksonville Jaguars pulled out the win against us. I'll refer to the people that watch the game first, and then I'll give my thoughts at the end. I think Spencer and Ke- or Tucker, Keaton doesn't watch football. He could care less. He probably didn't even know what the score was. So I knew it was 2010. I got a notification on my phone. Well, good. So uh, the only thing, one, we just we stink. Just straight up, like we got defense. We don't know how to move the ball on offense. We had like four yards of total offense going into like the halfway through the game. Almost is stupid. Um. What I do need to comment on are how uh, how bad the refereeing is. The consistency of the refereeing was ridiculous. Uh, there was a roughing the passer pretty early in the game uh, called against the Steelers uh, in which they said the body weight of the player came down on Trevor Lawrence, uh, and it came down around his, his knees to ankle area. And then... Later in the game, if you don't know, Kenny Pickett got hurt uh, and had to come out of the game. Uh, Kenny Pickett basically got picked up and driven into the ground uh, on his shoulder and his ribs, uh, and that one did not get called. So the, mm. the consistency of the officiating, I no problem, like, protect the quarterback, whatever. I think it's a little bit soft what we call with roughing the passer, but uh, if you're going to call one, you got to call the other because they were – the Kenny Pickett one was objectively, like, more yeah, uh, more painful, uh, more of a driving potential injury to a quarterback. Drove him into the ground. When we fell on Trevor Lawrence uh, below the waist – it was called so it's a little ridiculous it wasn't that was but the cleanest tackle ever it was a hard tackle but he didn't land on him in that one so no the the one we got called for i he, know it wasn't low hit it wasn't a high hit it was right in the middle he's talking no, about it was a good hit they called that he landed on him the body weight. yes i know but he didn't it's stupid that's what it, Spencer is saying. That's what we're talking about. I know, about. but Spencer's saying it was he got hit lower. I don't think he got hit low. That's what the refs are saying. 
Oh, he got hit. He got hit in the middle. He got hit like here, and then went down. And they called that he landed on with his body weight, and yes. he landed on, like his knees. That's where he actually landed on him. Hmm. That's what the refs are saying, Tucker, not Spencer. Yeah. Are you good, Tuck? Yes, I disagree with that. Okay, you're disagreeing with the refs, not Spencer. Yeah. We're on the same page here. I don't... (laughs) Do you know where you're at right now, Tucker? No, I don't. Then you napped a little hard today? Yep. What are your thoughts, Tucker? Same thing. It's there's awful. Really not, it's... there's not much to discuss about this team. No. You it's have the same thing over and over. Canada week. needs to be fired. This is his fourth or his fourth or third year, or whatever it is. It's the same results. It. You have over 50 games with less than 400 offensive yards. You got to, someone's got to get fired. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you've had, even... you've had multiple quarterbacks. That's not the issue. You've had multiple quarterbacks <clears throat> in his system. It's something's not working. You got to get rid of people. Even the great Howie and our loved quarterback, Terry Bradshaw, said on the, their pregame, like, can Kenny Pickett wake up before the fourth quarter? He finishes games well, but he does not start games that like I mean he has I think nine game winning drives already out of sixteen or nineteen. So I mean he finishes games well, but it's just like a not today. No, not today. I mean he again finish the game today, so again our offensive linemen I'm Steelers, you got and you want me to send you my number? I'll block for you better than these knuckleheads. Uh, no, yeah, I, there's a Instagram post. Our wide receiver Johnson saying the rest cost us the game. I mean, yeah, there's probably a couple bad calls, but they did not. You, you as an offensive wide receiver, you suck. I, you're you're not that bad, but you just. 10 points isn't going to win you any games. It's, I mean, you can't win games 9 to 10. You got to put up some points. So, blame it on your quarterbacks. We have two quarterbacks that came in, and they have less than less than a 40 QBR. Less than a 40 QBR. <laughs> I think I could go out there and get less than a 40 QBR. I mean, it's just it's just the same thing week after week. I mean, what was that? He's frozen. Spencer's frozen. I'm here. My goodness. No. Oh. Can we fix it? <sighs> <sighs> but anyways, moving on to a happy topic. Uh, do we want to talk any about the NBA? First week of the opening of the NBA season, I don't even know, 77th year of the NBA. Do we have – I put some headlines. I mean, LeBron, 21st year in, year, and he's still a beast. I mean, Anthony Davis can't do diddly squat on the Lakers, and uh, LeBron James got to play a whole fourth quarter, and they still lose to the – almost lose to the Suns without Devin Booker and Bradley Beal. So – they're trying to conserve LeBron's minutes, and he's, they barely pull out a win against the injured Suns team. I said, Luca, is he the MVP already? I mean, 49 points. He's balling. No. He has a hook, hook shot of a three-pointer. Uh, just give him the MVP trophy already? or No, he's got to get his team to the, no. the finals. Well, Joel, Joel and B... Joel Embiid didn't get his team to yeah, the what? last year. No, you have to get your team to the finals. The trophy comes That's out way not... before the finals. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm tired of MVP means you got a good playoff team or you get to the finals. The trophy's not about the playoffs. <laughs> yes, it is. Do you know where you're at right now? 
MVP is not the stats. Most valuable player. Okay. Your team has to be good. Yes, I agree. Their team should be in the playoffs, Drop but not in the finals. Maybe Tucker's proposing. West Conference finals or finals. Do we got to wait to give out the trophy. That's what Tucker's proposing. Yes. There should – I do agree. I do agree there should be a playoff MVP, like an overall playoff MVP. No. no Maybe that's, that's too the many. final. That's too many. Okay, they have an Eastern and a Western Conference MVP now. Is that too much? That's stupid. There's no satisfying you right idiot. now. No satisfying. Luca you. can average 30, 10, and 10 or whatever. And if his team doesn't even make the playoffs. Well, if you're averaging that, he you should make it. the playoffs. If you're wow. averaging that and you have Kyrie Irving on your team and Derek Lively. I'm adding Derek Livey. He's a Duke player. Never even he, heard of him. And he outperformed Victor Wimbanyama in his first NBA debut. So I'm just putting wow, that out congrats. there. What about Zion? What's he doing? Uh, he's dunking on the defensive player of the year last year. What else do you want from him? Uh, uh, play a whole season? Okay. Yeah. Play more than five games? I I did hear on the Dan Patrick show. They said we are not talking about Zion until he plays at least five consecutive games. I think that's a good rule. I think that's a very good rule. So uh-huh. no Zion talk until he at least proves he's going to be around for a, a minimal amount of time. Oh, okay, I agree. Should be lying at five, but I think well, a they, couple months. They did start. They debated themselves down because they started at like twenty. I think that's then, a good number. Yeah, they realized I'll say at least that 20 10. Is probably a, a too big of an expectation for Zion. No, he he needs a couple months. If I could place a bet on Zion playing sixty of the games this year, oh, I would definitely under be under under. under. Over. Yes. On on that, I think it's going to be funny what injuries that people come up with this year. You know, like they can't. Like yesterday, Miami's coming off a back to back, the early back to back. So it's like, of course, Jimmy Butler, Kevin Love's not going to play. But when they said, "Oh, Kevin Love's not playing. He's got a sore neck, got sore knees, got a sore leg." Sore ribs. I'm like, what? Because now they're getting fined if they're not, if they're not like you got an actual injury. Oh, as I I believe as the oldest in this group, uh, I think those are legitimate things because yeah, Kevin loves 35. I'm 33. Yeah, I I'm getting to a point where I randomly have different types of pains starting to happen. Okay. Uh, you Kevin Love probably guy. does have a sore neck and a randomly sore knee. No, no he doesn't. you can suck it up when you're getting paid fifteen million a year. I'm just saying. I'm just I saying. just, you I just that. thought it was funny because you can't say they're resting now. Like Kevin Love obviously needs a rest day, but you can't yeah. now because you're getting fined as teams. You can't say they're just resting. Like I just thought it was funny, but I will plot. I will applaud Charles Barkley. I don't think he caught Adam Silver off guard, but he came at Adam Silver hard on Tuesday opening night with these some of these questions. Like he was coming. I don't. Who knows if they're like the the president speaking? Like they that he knows the questions coming at him. But Charles Barkley, man, he was bringing up he was bringing up some bangers like with the domestic violence. Um, like that should not be tolerated at all in any sport. And Charles is like, hold on, hold on, producers. I don't care if we're not going to commercial break. We're I'm asking Adam Silver this question and just put it on him and saying like players That's should fake. players should uh be able to play when they're making 30, 40, 50 million dollars a year. So I do applaud Charles Barkley for coming out hot. <laughs> But mm-hmm. I might have to boycott ESPN basketball. 
I mean, firing the two best NBA now and announcers, that is it's rough. I mean, getting Van getting Van Gundy on a Tuesday, getting a Van Gundy on a Wednesday, and then a Thursday, Friday. I mean, you're getting some entertainment watching at least one basketball game, but you're only getting a Van Gundy Tuesday and Thursday now. You like Van Gundy. Yeah, I think he's funny. I think he's, they're hilarious. That's a hot take right there. I mean, they just bring up stupid things. Like, Is he the magic one? or Yeah, the magic's old coach? Yeah. Or is he the bald one? I don't know. There's his brothers. Van? Van. Stan Van Gundy. Yeah, one of them was the Miami Heat coach. I don't know, I suppose, man. And New, New York coach. I don't like the bald one. But... Well, anyways, any any last thoughts before we move in to the the best segment of this show? Any last sports That's... world? No. Any last uh, any no. last thoughts as we move along yes. in this podcast? Hello. Spencer, the floor is yours. He's got re- he's got to redeem himself. Don't click yet. Do not click yet. I'm clicking. Let me just welcome you. Two. Is it a sport? This is this today's gonna be clip, stupid. Fellas, today's clip, fellas. It is. This is the true epitome of what I believe. Is it a sport? Comes here to do bringing peak athleticism and energy right. and competition. Okay. Is he hyping this up too much? Yes. I've seen I've seen the thumbnail. Please. Would you please? And bring the question of is it a sport? This peak athleticism. We are at the the pinnacle. We're at the pinnacle here. Uh you might not think that it's a sport, but let's see that clip and see is anybody thinks this is a sport. A sport. Are you fellas ready? Let's click it up. Here is that clip. I have no idea what this is called, other than I'm gonna call it Elite. Oh my stopping card no. return. Here we go, fellas. Oh dear. Look at those Argyle socks. You gotta have Argyle socks to do this competition. Oh Lord! Oh, boy. oh Lord! They got the Aldi's. There's carts. a, there's they got a, a course. Did they, they put a quarter? This is not even running. running. He didn't put a quarter in. Wow. This is elite. Oh, right, we're going thinking? outside the stadium. No, not done. There's more to go get. You're in a different part of the clip than I am. Hmm, dear. Yep, you got to collect all the carts as fast as you can. Oh, my God. What am I watching? Exclamation point, new host for Is It a Sport. Tucker, you want to start that trend? Mm, no. This is the This is the perfect. This is such a random thing. Look at this crowd. Look how big this crowd is. Who is watching this? Look how big this crowd is. He oh, forgot wow. those last cards. Going back for him. Calm down. I think he could have had one big line. This yeah, is yeah, you have this one is big amateur line. work. This is oh, amateur yeah. work. Yeah, he could have done better, but this is a hard, it's tough, it's grueling, grueling physically, he, mentally yeah. exhausting. I could have done better. I did work at Walmart. I did work at Walmart too. I was work at Walmart. I was the water boy. All right. I Bill. mean, he has to put. Oh my gosh! He didn't even have that last cart in line. Well, this hey, is... we can argue that he didn't do do that well, but you cannot argue that he was not physically and mentally drained by the end of that competition. He had to really drive himself to get that thing done. Wow. Listen, if I just gave you a no. sport that's obviously a sport, this wouldn't be a fun this wouldn't be a fun segment. This this really drives you to think maybe it is a sport. He is he, that let's, is a very good point. Let's see. 
Those stuff. Don't let him swindle you, Kyle. Is <laughs> it a sport? Two big thumbs up from this guy. Two. No. no. Two down. <laughs> no. No. Er, no. Exclamation Listen. point. New host. No, I do like your last point. If is it a sport? You need to think That's a little so bit. Fun. And there's it. Well, there, that was an entertaining video to watch. Yeah, the whole point of is it a sport is to bring up the question. If I just give you a cakewalk, yeah, that's a sport. Well, this isn't. I gave you an answer. It's not all... a sport. You three over there just pooping on every single thing I bring around here. I want to. Yeah. Yeah. Before we even watch the clip, you threw a oh, probably no sport. Oh, I'm sick of this. Are we... Get a new host. You know what this is, Spencer? <laughs> Your fingers rubbing together. Oh, yep. It's a tiniest violin. I want to know how you... Where did you get this video? That one how... was that Magic. one was better than the last couple weeks. The depths of... Yeah. I've got the depths of the Instagram reels. I go and search for these things. Just scrolling through. I, that was that was a good find. Entertaining. I do agree. It's, it's, that's why you're the best host of Is a Sport. You bring the energy, and that's why it's the best segment, Tucker. I'm sorry to say it. Yours is a close second, Tucker. Draft. The energy's low, so Keaton's just he's dead. Okay. Why is mine? Why is draft the longest segment? <laughs> Your collection of the week. Exactly. Uh-huh. We love to see it. So, now, can we give her, put the hands together for Spencer? Put the hands together. No. Of course. I need that. I need that. Boots back up. Yeah. You did I redeem yourself it. a little bit. The last couple weeks were he'll, awful. He'll go get his. He'll go get his honey, and she'll protect him. And they're making fun of me, Amanda. Go yell at him. <laughs> He's thinking of that right now. He doesn't have anything to say. <laughs> this, is, this is how their conversations go. Yeah. Brothers are making fun of me. <laughs> Keenan, you show us why your draft is the best segment. Do you even know what the draft is today? Is the real yes. Part? Yes. Okay, let's see it. Doing... Yes. Land animals. Okay. Land animals that live on land. I have a question. Land. Oh, there should be no questions. There actually should why can't be. we do why can't we just do all animals? Because it's good to have there's three different drafts. There's a lot of animals. <laughs> okay. We're running Does... out of draft ideas, so we gotta stretch it out. Is yeah. penguins penguins could fly? No. No. What? Or ducks. Whatever one ducks. are those air animals? I would say ducks, ducks are water. Ooh, water. Ducks are all three. Ducks can't fly. Yes, they can. Can't duck penguins hunting. fly or penguins? I don't know. No, they slide penguins on their bellies. Fly. Penguins don't. Fly. Penguins are land. They slide on their bellies. That's not them flying. <laughs> Aren't they water too? They go down and slide. They get up and they're in the they're air. Land. They're More in the water. air and then they hit the water. Listen, you're an idiot. You fall down. You're in the air for a little bit. Doesn't mean you can fly. That's like us. We what we about, jump off. We jump off a roof, but are we flying? What about no. me? This jumping in the air. I can get pretty high. Oh no, no. Yeah. Earthquake. You haven't seen me jump lately. Can we move on? Yes, He's we can move idiot. on. What? What? My question. You could, you my question about question. you complain about Spencer's question. No, my question was just why don't we just do all animals? But because there's three different drafts. There's a lot of flying animals. There's a lot of fishes. You know what a good draft, draft this week would have been is horror movies. But no, we don't watch those. No. Because Halloween is Tuesday. It's past. It's past Halloween. No, You're Halloween watch... is on Tuesday. You're supposed to watch that before Halloween. No, we are watching. And this podcast comes out on Tuesday. Okay, Keaton, back to you. Back yeah, to your you... segment. Yeah, you know all you these... 
I'm winning all these arguments. Today. You didn't lose. I'm going to be watching a scary movie on Tuesday. Okay. Good for Halloween. What scary movie should they watch? Hubie Halloween. That's a great Halloween movie okay. for the not family. Scary movie. It's not scary, but it's a great Halloween movie. Okay, thank you. Family feud question. Keaton walked around okay. his campus and asked 100 yep. people. Name you can, an animal. You can find that on Netflix, by the way. Name an animal that lives both on <laughs> land and water. <laughs> land and water. Spencer Kyle Tucker. Okay. No, I was second. Land and no. land and water. Yes. yes. Okay. You can go with the. You can go with the beaver. Mm, beaver. It's a good one. I'm going with the quack quack ducks. Duck. That can live on land and water. Yes. yes. I'm going with the seal. Okay, you guys are idiots. I'm going with the turtle. And that's that's a good that's one. A good one. <laughs> Alligator. Mm. All right. So first was turtle. Second was alligator. You Third frog. List. Four seal. Five, oh, five, oh. What was five? Five was crocodile. Six was six was beaver. Yes. So I'm second. No one thinks of ducks. That's why I told you ducks are water. Come on. Fat Perez. You know who loves ducks? Fat Perez. Fat Perez loves ducks. Good for him. I think he loves pizza. He loves ducks. Likes beer. That is true, too. So I get to go first? That's, That's all I guess. Yes, Keaton gets to go first. What I is think, gonna... I think Keaton looked at the list. What list? On your computer. Maybe. I need to pull land animals. Okay. He did. Right, we ready? Yes. I went with polar bear. It's a good one. That's fine. Okay. Can we clear? <laughs> can we actually clarify before we fully get into this guy? If it lives like on both so like uh a turtle if it kind of lives on on land <clears throat> and you see where where are we drafting it can we draft it today would, I'm, I'm saying, saying do both i'm saying That's if it can uh like a i don't want to give my draft pick away but like if an animal can swim he's in the water but he's not sleeping in the water so it's like you has to sleep on land. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. dog, a dog can swim in water, but he's not living in the water. Those things can so like, so if yeah. the majority of their life is spent in that space, yeah. Okay, That's, got it. That would be good. Yeah, like polar bear, it can swim, but it's not sleeping and doing. Got it. Got it. Hey, Tucker. I'm gonna go with a bear. Do I have to pick a certain one? Black bear? Grizzly bear. Grizzly bear. Okay. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> What's that from? I don't know. Question. What kind of what did you say? What kind of bear poops in the woods? No. What kind of bear is best? False. Black bears. Spencer, help us, please. All right, fellas. Can I pull up Google? Tell me, I can't do this, but I'm going with the dog. That's perfectly fine. What's wrong with that? that? I didn't think that was going to go round number one, but. Well, there's nothing better than man's best friend, so. As Mont- best you can't dog, beat but... you can't beat Monty. I um, except when. Yeah. Except when he's away from his owners and bites you. Yeah, for real. That's a loyal pet. I mean, the king of the king of safari, a lion. You guys are king of the jungle. Yeah, king of the jungle. King of safari. I mean, a lion. Who doesn't? (laughs) 
No one calls it the king of the safari, though. They call it the oh, king. I couldn't think of the jungle. <laughs> and I like looking at a lion, and it's powerful. And it's... you guys are. Um, I already won the draft. I already I'm won the down draft. there. You can have lion. Have fun with your lion. <laughs> I'm, it's it not you. pets that you can have. It's animals that you like, and I like a lion. Yeah, I like dogs. Everyone okay. likes a dog. Yeah, it's true. It's true. All Dude, right. My, number two. my second one, I went with cheetah. It's a good one. Hmm. Fastest. All right. I like these animals. I got to go with the gorilla. Yikes. They are so... There's lots of funny videos of gorillas. Yes. Yeah, of them eating their poop. That's a good thing. That's a good picture. Except the one gorilla in Cincinnati. But... King King Kong. The gorilla killing a kid almost, but it's all good. I didn't see that video. <laughs> all right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with another funny animal to watch. I'm going with the panda. Ooh. That's a good one, actually. Panda's good. So the reason why I wanted Tucker to clarify about the bear, because I want to pick the black bear. That's a good bear. bear. Grizzly bear is going to take your black bear down. I actually have seen the black bear in real life. So a friend. Oh. I, I won't. Can I tell my story or no? They're just. Go How for it. He cares. What? How long is your story? It's real short. We were up in a cabin in Colorado. <laughs> and. <laughs> Keep going. Friend, keep going. Me and a friend were up in Colorado in a cabin, and one of the objectives when he goes up there is he wants to see a bear. So we drive around, you look for animals, and he puts trash out during the night. And if you want to attract a black bear, you just put trash out in the middle of the night. And he's playing FIFA at like midnight, and I'm asleep, and he's like, Kyle, Kyle, wake up. There's a bear outside. And I'm just recently coming off a torn ACL, so I just stood inside because – that thing starts chasing after me. I um, wasn't able to run at the time. So it's cool just to see the black bear. Just He got the trash, played with it for a little bit, and then just walked away. Scurried off. Yeah, scurried off. Wow. All right. So for my pick, I think I'm going to go for a bunny. Bunny. Good job. They oh, What's wrong with a bunny? They are cute. Bunnies got, are cute. I found my right, I'm thing. taking a puppy dog. No. Yeah, what? <laughs> That's a dog. <laughs> it's a you puppy. Should've, you should have clarified, hey, Spencer, what type of dog do you Yeah. Want? Yeah. But you missed your opportunity. It's a puppy. It's a dog. Next right. pick. I'm now, pick baby bear next. Okay, I'm picking next. baby panda bear. Did, how did you actually think that was gonna go through? <laughs> I did it. I was just trying to be a problem. Stupid. Okay, I'm gonna go with raccoon, rocket raccoon. Oh, what a yikes! <laughs> Who likes raccoons? Raccoons are funny too. No. The one on a movie? Do they talk? Yeah. All right, I got a video on here that's hilarious. It's a raccoon. I also got put in. I found this guy it, so. on Instagram. He does voiceovers of animals. Have you guys ever watched that kind of video? I know. Yes. Those are hilarious. The raccoon yes. ones are very good on there. Yeah, he does them. He's done like a dog one, raccoon. They're fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I am gonna go with. Penguins for my next pick. Penguins of Madagascar. Go Yunks. with the Gwins. What are those Yunks. things? What are those Yunks things in Madagascar penguins. called? I'm not going to show you that. Answer, Tucker. <sighs> All right, let me Wait. look up. Let me look up Madagascar. All right, my pick. How do you spell that? <laughs> M A. No, this is the end of round three. 
My pick <clears throat> are kangaroos. Oh, kangaroos. Yeah. yeah. I actually got to see if you go to the Noah's Ark, they have some kangaroos there. And when I went, it was too hot. So they were all laying in the shade. I wanted to see them go jump around. But if you go to Noah's Ark in uh, Kentucky, a nice little zoo. Nice. Okay. This next pig it might sound weird, but listen. Oh. I went with a chicken. Oh boy. Does it taste good? Okay. And you get eight. Very so versatile. you want me to follow up on that? Sure, go for it. I can't pick a cow. It's not worth it. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to go with a pig. Yeah. The lemurs of Madagascar, those are funny. Hey, can that can that be a Lemur? our next draft? The animals that you eat. Sure. See? Cow, chicken, pig. That's a turkey. Anyway, yeah. okay. Can I pick my? Yes, you said lemurs. No, said I'm lemurs. not taking lemurs. Then why'd you bring them up? Because Spencer probably is going to take them. You I'm are like... all over the place. I'm taking a tiger. I already took a tiger. You took tiger? Yeah. No, you took cheetah. Cheetahs. You're supposed to go with it. Oh, that would have been good. Tiger. Sorry. I actually did think about that. I was like, uh, isn't a lion a tiger? But Tigers today. are beautiful animals. And the Bengals won today. <laughs> this is true. Well, Bengals they're, and they're Bengals, they're not tigers. Bengal is a kind of tiger. Okay. You didn't say Bengals. You said tiger. Okay. Spencer... I'm picking all the tigers like Spencer picked all the dogs. <laughs> I am going to go with... The real king of the safari, the elephant. Ah, that's a good pick. Scared of mice. Oh, man. Elephants are scared of mice. Really? Yeah, they are. The three blind mice. I'm going to go with a nice giraffe. I'm getting the real king of the safari next. Oh, boy. This should be interesting. <laughs> Probably a snail or something, a snake. I'm not. Mm, last one. Pick. I'm with last one, Puma. Nice. Ooh. That's a clothing brand. Good one. Really. All right. Um. Okay, we're going with. Hippopotamus. Ooh. Uh, Where does the hippo live most? Are they in the safari? Yes, but I think they're more of a water animal than... Yeah. Land. No, 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 no. no. They don't sleep in the water. Then they're they not... That was our that was our rule. They can spend a significant amount of time in the water, though. But anyways... It's, it Google says they can go up to 19 miles per hour. If you saw a hippo running at you at 19 miles per hour, you'd be pretty scared. Really? They're a, they're a pretty dangerous that's, animal. That's that's my top speed. Yeah. So. And you can yeah. and you can feed them whole watermelons. It's pretty enjoyable to watch. <laughs> Fun fact of the day. That's all I got for you on hippos. Okay. All right, I am going to go. Uh, my last pick, I'm going to go with a versatile animal. I, you might need to fact check me on where they spend the majority of the time. But I'm going to go with platypuses. That's a land. Perry platypus. the platypus I'm... lives in a house. Yeah, so I think we're good. I like how we're basing our animals off of the TV show and movies. That's the only thing I know about platypus is Perry the platypus. Land or water. As Keaton is looking that up, my last pick, the rhino. They Save go up. The... You want to know their speed? No. Yes. 31 miles per hour. Yes. Save with the that, rhinos. With that do horn. We, do we want to hear platypus here? Yeah, let's hear what it says. Half 
of the day spent in the water looking for food. The rest is spent in its burrow. So it's half and half. It's pretty okay. much a home. Sounds mind. like it's sleeping on land, though. Yes. We'll give so it to him. Do we got honorable mentions? Well, no one picked a horse. Was that your honorable mention? Horses are overrated. Sure. Horses are expensive. Yeah, because you can't ride them because you're too fat. I've When's never... the last time you rode one? I don't think I've ever rode a Camp horse. Gideon? See, I never I did that at Camp Gideon. Horses at Camp Gideon. Yeah, I never knew there's horses at Camp. No, that we went somewhere. Horse, horses are good animals. They're, mm. vers- they're, ver- they're versatile. Let's uh, let's pick the head up a little bit, Tuck. Yeah, you do. Burning oh. my eyes. Mine? Okay, I'll take a honorable mention. I'll take a sloth. Basing okay. that off of another movie. Which one? Hey. Ice Age. Probably Ice Age. What's that one where he's like a he's that uh telemarketer? No, the That's car, so the BMV so person, isn't he? BMV. Yes. Yeah. That's, That's uh, uh. What movie is that? Zoo Maker. No, Zoo Zootopia. Keeper. Uh, Zootopia. Yeah. Yeah. Zootopia. yeah something Zoo. That main Zootopia. Character? Yeah. Bunny. It's Zootopia. Ice Age. It's Zootopia. That's her honorable mention. Um, I am gonna go honorable mention. Hmm. I'll go with the fox for my honorable mention. What does the fox say? Who knows? <laughs> oh, I should have put this in my draft, but a nice wolf. Nice little wolf for on what? Mention. Who cried wolf? There is a game I call I, we played at camp. Alpha Wolf, the so, werewolf. Spencer closes down. It's getting out of hand out here. Last, last segment. Introduce Tuck. our last segment. Spencer. I'm ready. Keeping her up. Okay. Tucker, what is? The collection item of the week. To show an item? I I did not buy anything this week. Well, I did, but it's in the mail. I, so. I Dude, it's, you <laughs> buy it's stuff. in the mail. This is like the, the credit show right here. Is this right next to me? Another, uh, we got another horror comic. The this man. Week, we got the man thing. Oh, is that is that you on the cover? What is what is he? He's a swamp creature. I didn't know they made a book. He only you. he only attacks you based on your fear. So if you're scared, then he'll come after you. That's it. He's in 9. the good rating. Nine point four, yeah. <laughs> but he's in the Werewolf by Night show. You can watch it in color now on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. Kyle, I don't yeah, think I don't is, think you've watched it, Kyle. But you should watch is, it. What is in the mail, Tucker? Or we wait until next week? Oh, no, 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 no spoilers. No spoilers. I could show oh, that God. next week. I next am going. Week. I am going to do a Comic Con next Saturday. Oh boy! What's, so what's our costume? Will... Don't wear costumes at Comic Con. Tucker's there to buy, not to I'm. Mingle. I'm the one that actually the dealers like because I have the money I'm spending. Do they? Do you know the dealers? Most of them, yeah, because it's the same ones all around the oh. area. Oh my gosh! <laughs> if you want a business yeah. in Salem, Ohio, just open up old comics, old video games. Well, they already and have those. Tucker, already. Tucker Woodlicka uh, will be in your shop, and he'll. It just takes he a little. Keep bit. you in business. He will keep you in business. How do you just open your own shop? That's false. I mean, at this point, I probably have point. enough inventory to do so. All right, are we good, fellas? Any last comments as we wrap? I think this is this fifty-two, Tucker. This episode um, fifty-two. 
I'm pretty so. sure. I'm pretty sure I think it it's is. Fifty one. So, uh, I think last like... week was fifty one. I think it was fifty two. So as Keaton is looking it up, yep. fifty two. Fifty two. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, yes, we've already been through a year, but this is episode fifty two. If you're watching this far, thank you guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you next time. Peace.